Attention Halo fans, don't expect the plot to thicken anytime soon. Halo 5 creative director Josh Holmes has revealed that they're not planning to make any single player story DLC for the new game. He says there are no plans for future campaign content, so I guess that means we'll have to wait for the next Halo game to continue the story. The developers, however, are planning to deliver loads of new multiplayer DLC for Halo 5. All the extra maps for the game will be free and expect the first to roll out soon. We're going to have to wait even longer for the new Mirror's Edge game. EA has delayed the release of Mirror's Edge Catalyst by four months. It was originally set to free run onto consoles in February 2016, but will now make the jump on May 24, 2016. The developers say they need extra time to tweak some things in the game and make it as good as they promised. The delay isn't that bad when you consider that fans have already been waiting more than seven years for the sequel. The first Mirror's Edge game came out back in 2008. It wasn't a big hit, but did develop a cult following large enough to get a sequel made. Hopefully it will deliver. <laughs> That's it for the rundown, but look who it is to bring us a little faith. It is Victor Lucas. Oh, nice. Like what I did there. Yes. Victor Lucas, what do you think about this four months delay for Mirror's Edge? I'm okay with it. I, okay. I think, uh, you know, it, the more that they take the time to make this a better game is a better solution for uh, all of us, and I think it turns the game into a bigger event as well. Yeah, I just feel like we've waited so long for it mm -hmm. anyway, so I suppose it's not that big of a deal. Also, I don't, there wasn't a lot of hype behind the trailer when we saw it at yeah. 3 which yeah. was strange because we waited for so long. Well, there's a little bit too much kind of nostalgic, let's recreate or reproduce something that we've already experienced mm -hmm. before, and that's something that they definitely have to get right with Mirror's Edge. It has to feel like a, a new a new piece of entertainment, something yeah. that we haven't, you know, gone through before with Faith. I, I just do not want them to ruin Faith for me. She's me been such a hero or a heroine for me mm -hmm. for so long, especially in the video game space, uh, so I just don't want that to be ruined. I feel like it'll be okay, though. I think so, too, and yeah. what a great story it will be for DICE to have Battlefront be yeah. separate from Battlefield and also have Mirror's Edge, and if all of those work, like we hope that they do, uh, they're going to be a really, really, really hot studio out there. Well, from Faith to Chief, we have to talk about the fact that there's going to be no story DLC, which is interesting because I do rely on a lot of story when it comes to the Halo franchise. I yeah. love Chief, I love his story, right. and I always want more of it, so I'm not sure about this DLC situation. Yeah, I mean, I think that they've got a huge franchise to kind of build up for the inevitable Halo 6. Yeah and they left a lot of plot threads at the end of Halo 5. I would have loved something that sort of focused on different characters, you know, whether it was Locke or Buck or something like that, to give us just, a, you know, some fresh new content directions to go. Side quest. A little side quest. I think that would have been a great idea for those guys. But the fact that the maps are free and that yes. everybody across the board can play them yeah. is huge. It's big news, especially for people that love playing online. And truthfully, it's the multiplayer in Halo 5 that's the big deal. The yeah. story is okay. It's not the greatest, as uh, Steve and I reviewed, but uh, the, the multiplayer is phenomenal. Aha, uh -huh, you heard it here. Mm. But now we've got to try on our watches. Oh, I actually wore a watch today. Me it's too. not my yokai, though. I keep it in a safe place. Here's our review. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.